The original Lego movie had a huge twist that ultimately ended up being about a father and son bonding with one another over a shared love for all things Lego. Naturally, this wowed critics and the revelation carried a lot of weight with it that added depth to the work and elevated it above most animated movies. The Lego Movie 2, the second part, is no different and throughout this video I'll be discussing its ending and the meaning behind it. There will be heavy spoilers here, so if you don't want to know anything about the film then I highly suggest that you turn off now. But for everyone else, I'm Definition and welcome to the channel where I watch it so you don't have to. The film jumps between the real world and Lego imagination in Finn's head several times and the piece is ultimately about his relationship with his little sister, Bianca. Bianca has begun playing with Finn's Lego and similar to his father in the first film, he sees this as wrong and that the only way to properly play with them is his way. I myself have a younger sister and found this quite easy to relate to as I'm sure many others will. Big brothers and big sisters tend to look down on their siblings and are sort of overly protective over their toys and ultimately it's probably to their own detriment. A younger brother or sister is someone that you can really have an amazing childhood with but for some reason we tend to block them out and in the end the Lego Movie 2 is about Finn overcoming this and learning to share with his sister after realising they will always have each other. Beautifully the Lego world reflects this conflict early on with the Duplo invaders from Bianca's world invading Bricksburg and turning it into Apocalypseburg. Emmett has dreams of our mom getting and this implies that Finn fears his mother may one day take away his toys if he and Bianca can not get along. Emmett wants to move into his dream home with Lucy but this is stopped when he and his friends are kidnapped. This kickstarts an adventure that is packed with pop culture references, awesome moments and the group meet a new character called Rex Danger Best whilst trying to make it to the antagonising Sistar system. Lucy is really swept up by the rugged and dashing Danger Vest and Emmett starts to take on some of his mannerisms to try and impress his girlfriend as they head towards the system to save the day. We learn that in fact the Sistar system was trying to broker peace with Apocalypseburg but that they were just very bad at communicating it and this of course is a metaphor for the relationship between Finn and Bianca who are unable to truly get on the same page as one another even though they want the same thing. Emmett mistakenly stops the piece and in the real world this is reflected by Finn who destroys Bianca's creations. Their mother orders them to put their toys away and this is our mom getting come into fruition. In the Lego world Emmett learns that Rex is in fact a twisted version of himself from the future that fell into the clothes dryer. Rex does get the better of Emmett and knocks him into the dryer to ensure that he will still exist and that a paradox will not be created. However, Emmett isn't your ordinary brick and he fights back ensuring that he won't turn out like Rex. There's a big showdown and Rex in the end disappears because Emmett finally overcomes his inner demons. This is mirrored in the real world in which Finn and Bianca finally decide to play together and after getting their toys returned they stop our mom getting. The two build together as Lucy and Emmett rekindle their relationship in the Lego world. There's a couple of cool reveals and easter eggs that I don't want to spoil but in the end this is ultimately about beating the mind state within yourself that stops you from interacting with others and leads you down a less fun filled path. It's a beautiful message that is arguably just as poignant as the first film and really allowed me to step into the shoes of Finn and remember what I was like as a child that sort of secluded myself when I could have had more fun playing with my little sister. Obviously I'd love to hear your thoughts on the film and what you took from it. Do you prefer this message? message over the first film and what was your favourite of the two. Comment below and let me know and if you enjoyed this video then please like it and make sure you check out my breakdown of the Avengers Endgame Super Bowl trailer which will be linked at the end. This is a channel for people who are mad into movies so if that's the kind of thing you like hit subscribe. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this, I've been Definition, you've been the best and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.